in my father's house it's many mansions that's the word for the day if you don't stand for something you'll fall for anything you know a wise man once said but uh anyway uh the subject for the day you know we got going on all right let me turn the game down for a little bit Okay, I want to speak on this whole, um, you know, uh, thing about, you know, Suge Knight coming at Rick Ross, uh, about, you know, talking about he want to fight him and everything like that, uh, in defense of Tupac and everything. Um, it's back on the same subject about who exactly the type of people, you know, Pac would stand next to if he was back. You know what I'm saying? And if he did come back. And a lot of these rappers out here will be confused. You know what I'm saying? If the Pac did show up. Because, uh... Because, uh... It's obvious that he wouldn't stand next to half you cats. Even you should. You know what I'm saying? Because he'd probably be smarter than that. I mean... I don't believe Shook had anything to do with Tupac's death or nothing like that. I don't believe Shook had anything malicious, you know, out against Pac. He saved Pac. He really did. He saved Pac from a lot of, a lot of drama. You know, got him out of jail. I know that probably was a money thing. Somebody could say that was a money thing. He just saw the potential in, in Pac and was like, okay, that's probably a good business move. But uh, basically, you know, I don't think Sure Knight should be coming at Rick Ross about speaking on the Tupac's back thing, you know, because he knows it's all about controversy. He knows it's all about, you know, name dropping. You know, you can't get on unless you do all this stuff. Classic example. Tupac was making beautiful music way before any of that beef stuff. You know what I'm saying? Nobody really paid attention to it. He couldn't keep a label deal. You know what I'm saying? Nobody was really paying attention to it. And, until, he, until he got on some of that industry type shit. You know? Some of that industry type shit that they want you know, to put, put us against each other and everything. You know? That's the only thing they're going to speak on. You look at all these interviews. You look at all these interviews out here. You're going to see that. They only want to talk to you, you know what I'm saying, when you're speaking on some uh, controversy, you know, stuff like that. They only want to get with you when you're talking about stuff like that or when you're name dropping. And they want to know why you're name dropping, you know, and, and things of that, of that nature. So he should know, he should, he should just peep game and just respect the hustle and just, then just be like, you know, cool. That what you got to do, that was, that was a high record, and go like that. I mean... He ain't saying nothing malicious about Pop. He ain't saying nothing malicious about nobody. You know, he keeping that man name ringing. He keeping the people name ringing that's supposed to be ringing. And but like I said, if Pop was back, he wouldn't stand next to some of you cats. And some of you cats probably feel dissed, wondering why. Well, I'm gonna tell you why. Okay, it's one thing being about that life or saying you live that life. Anybody from the ghetto to live their life, whether they slang crack or gang banged or didn't do any of that and chose to keep it neutral. You know, they steal from their life. You know what I'm saying? No matter, because they're affected by it in some way. So, to say somebody who didn't actually participate in the destruction of the ghetto, or the hood, or the slums, you know, of our community that, that I know that I'm from, you know, and I show you that, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna show you that place. I'm gonna show you the whole scenic view of the, the forgotten city, the Underground Railroad, making GA, where everything started. You know, James Brown got broke here. He got his first record broke here. You know, same thing with the Almond Brothers. Somebody y'all probably don't know nothing about, but some people do. You know, you got Otis Redding. You know, that's the, that's the, that's the foundation of soul. And the foundation of soul is the foundation of rap. And, and the foundation of soul is the foundation of all music. 
So that's why I call this the home of pop, because this is where all the popular music began. Okay? The Mac Town. The Mac, where ain't nothing else to do but trap. You know? The, 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 the Hollywood lights don't come down this way. But anyway, you know, just like it was back in the day for places like, you know, Inglewood and, and the Watts and uh, Compton, you know, those, those real towns outside of, you know, the Hollywood cities. You know, but anyway, I'm just going to say that these rappers out here that's trying to stand next to Pop, Pac, if he was back, he wouldn't stand next to you and you would be real confused and you probably feel real distant, hurt, and not wonder why. But you out here glorifying the stuff that he fought for. He fought to, uh, to, to pretty much shed a light on and show people a better way. Now, I ain't gonna front, I ain't gonna front on nobody that lived that life that's slinging right now, or that's slinging drugs, or, 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 I ain't gonna get no pass to nobody that's shooting, shooting another, you know, nation, you know, somebody within his own nation. But, uh, I ain't gonna get no pass to nobody doing that on the game bank, except that's just divide and conquer. Y'all just falling into that whole, uh, structure that, that they want us out here living. That's why they put it in the music. That's why they put it in all this stuff. In the movies. You know, we still live in that 80s. Ronald Reagan era. Out here, you know, thinking when the crack, when the crack was get, getting, I mean, when, when, when the drugs was being flooded onto the streets through the government. But, it, you know, that stuff is not proven. It's not fact. But it, ain't, ain't, no, ain't no poppy fields, you know, uh, on Bankhead. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no poppy fields, you know, uh, in Decatur, you know. Ain't no, ain't no poppy fields in the Mac, Mac town, you know. So, you got to put everything in perspective, you know. So, like I was saying, it's one thing to have done and lived the so-called life, live that life, live in that. And it's another thing to glorify it, you know. I want to see one of these rappers, you know, that is... From that life, you know, it had family members affected by the life speak on it. I want to hear that in rap. You know, call it conscious, call it whatever, because they didn't live it, call it what you want. <clears throat> but there's a lane for that, you know. By these, you know, so-called gangster rappers, you know, shitting on that lane, I don't respect that. You know, I want to see more of these motherfuckers who are here saying that they did live the life and did do all the dirt out here in these streets. Don't glorify it. Still come out here and say, yeah, I got, I got a murder charge. Yeah, I got a crack charge. I'm not proud of that. You know, articulate that in rhymes. Come from that perspective. Instead of out here gloating about those things. Those things ain't nothing to be proud of. You know what I'm saying? You say you out here with, with a sense of pride about that stuff. That the, the prove that you from the life. That you that you that you that you that you about that life. You shouldn't be about that life. You should be creating ways for that life to end. You know, you should be creating you should be using that crack money. You should be using that the money you took from the hood, you know, to build better empires and 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 and, and, and Opportunities for, for these youngins out here that can't that, that don't need to follow your footsteps and be motivated to do those things because for one thing you know what the percentage is of these cats that, that don't that don't make it out once they choose do, to do that in their life so man Pac, Pac would never glorify you know the life the so called so-called life. He will never glorify it. He gonna speak on it because he got his people is affected by it. That's only right. You know, and that's what I do. You know. I, I ain't even gonna say people that haven't participated in, in, in those things should speak on it. it, it people don't feel, young, young cats, don't feel like you gotta live the life to speak on the life. You know. If you've been affected by it, if you if your Yo, uncle is a crackhead 
you know, if your your um, cousin is a crackhead, or is your, your your cousin slinging and got locked up for life, you know, or if your brother then, then is doing hard time for murder, you know, how can you not be about that life? You was born into it. So so man, so don't buy that stuff. They only want to put people in the forefront that's actually glorified. They actually glorify that life. So I'm gonna leave it right there, man. I'm sign off. I'm talking too much, but uh, I I'll be back and I speak on a little bit more of this stuff. Peace.